Even eyeliner? Nope, never heard of that. Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and today I have a holiday themed video for you because the holidays are here. They've been here for a while, but they're here now. So today I wanted to do a very fun get ready with me. It's gonna be like sped up, it's kinda super quick, just a fun video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my hair and obviously the makeup, so it's gonna be like a three in one video, just quick. Getting ready with me for a holiday party. It's gonna be really fun. If you guys are into that and if you like this look and wanna know how to recreate it, make sure to keep watching. But before you do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me out a lot. So if you like my content, Click that subscribe subscribe button. It took a while to get there, but we got there. Let's uh, head straight in. Okay, before starting off with the makeup, I'm just gonna touch on the hair really quick. Sometimes I curl it. This time I decided to leave it straight. It's easier. I have really straight hair, no texture whatsoever. I was blessed with no texture in my hair and I look like a little boy. Sometimes the ends come out, so I just go through and iron it with a flat iron and I just blow dry my hair and this is the result. My hair is very easy to style when it comes to straight hair, so that's what I do, blow dry, then just iron some ends that are a little crazy. And for today, since I'm getting ready for like a holiday party, and I'm extra, okay? Everyone else is pretty normal. I am not. So I'm gonna go with my IGK pre-party hair strobing glitter spray because why not? And I'm just gonna be running this throughout my hair. I'm gonna spray it and then run my hands through it and uh, we'll see how it looks like afterwards. Hopefully you guys don't get glittered, hopefully. Okay, so after I've done that, the hair is complete. This is the hair. Really easy. Let's move on to the makeup. Okay, so it's time to start off with the makeup. I am going to be priming with my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, as always. Okay, so after priming, I'm going to do a little bit of crease work. This look is going to be super easy. The eyeshadow is super simple. So I'm just going to go in with my The Nubian Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to grab the shade, there's no names on this, but just this shade right here. And I'm just going to run this along the crease. It's going to be super simple. It's kind of like a transition shade, but also a crease shade. And I'm using a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Now that we're done with our crease, it's time to go for the lid. Now, I'm all about glitter. Holidays are all about glitter and parties are all about glitter. So I'm just going to do a really glittery look today. I'm going to go in with my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. And I'm going to place this all over my lids and I'm going to run it up to the crease with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Okay, so now that the glitter is all placed, it doesn't look perfect, but honestly, it doesn't matter because that's kind of the look that I'm going for, kind of messy, kind of grungy, so don't worry if yours looks messy. I am just going to grab the same brush with the Juvia's Place palette thing, the shade here, and I'm just going to run a little bit of that to the lower lash line because I forgot to do that. And I'm going to go clean all the glitter that's all over my face right now, and I will be right back to finish the eyes. Does this look like it's enough glitter to you because it looks like it needs a little bit more to me so I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty how many carrots diamond bomb and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this with my finger I know the diamond bomb and the glitter that I applied on my eyes aren't the same color but this will just add another dimension to it and I'm also gonna add a little bit to the inner corners okay so now that that is complete it is time for the hard part if you want to you could just leave it like this add mascara and it'll look bomb but I don't want that you guys know I have to be extra and holiday parties are the perfect time to be extra. So I'm going to be doing a full wing with the beautiful Pat McGrath Labs Dark Matter pigment. You guys know I love this one. And I'm just going to use a Morphe E35 brush and pray for me because I'm about to do a full wing. Hopefully they turn out even and nice. Okay, we were successful with the right one. Now it's time to fuck it up on the left one. <laughs> Okay, so things just got a little bit thicker than I was expecting them to, but uh, these are the wings done 2,000 hours later, basically. And now it is time for mascara. Let me grab my fucking mascara. I'm gonna be going in with my Maybelline Total Temptation mascara that is a little bit over dry, but I want really chunky lashes, so 
We're gonna apply this right now. Okay, great. While my face continues to be a freaking mess, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go in. Is this my L'Oreal? This is my L'Oreal brow definer thing, I think. The one that looks just like Anastasia's one, but the thick one. And I'm also gonna be using the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow in Grind to set everything. Okay, it is time to move on to the face. I'm gonna be going in with my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I'm just gonna apply this everywhere that I have big pores, so in my T-zone, basically. It's time to move on to foundation. I am using my MAC Studio Face and Body. A lot of people I know prefer a fuller coverage whenever they're, you know, going out, holiday parties and stuff, but I always prefer something that's lighter coverage, and I really love this one because it covers everything it needs to cover, but it's still very sheer, and it lets my skin breathe through, and I prefer a natural skin look. So huh, let's use this in C2. And for that, I'm using an IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. Okay, so now it is time for concealer. I like a really light base, but I do have a few things to conceal, i.e. my uh, extreme dark circles. So I'm going to go in with my fave Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer in the shade 3. And I'm also going to be using the same brush. Now that our base is all done, it's time to set everything. You obviously need to set because, well, we need this look to be hanging on to us all day long. So, I'm going to go in with my Cover FX Light Matte Setting Powder. This is the loose powder. And I'm going to be adding this all over my T-zone. Okay, after we have set our T-zone, it is time to move on to the cheek products. Now, for bronzer, I don't really want a lot of bronzer, which is surprising. I always want bronzer, but for today, I'm going to do slight contour. It's going to be cream contour, and I'm going to be using the Strobe & Sculpt Cream Contour Palette in Light Medium from Kiko. And I'm just going to be using the contour shade right here. And I'm just applying that with a Real Techniques stipple brush. Okay, so after our contour, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I'm sticking with the cream theme. I'm going in with my Dusk Cloud Paint from Glossier. These last forever. They're so long lasting and that's why I'm choosing to use it today and I'm gonna be applying it with my fingers. Okay, now that our blush is successfully on, it is time to go on with highlighter and I'm gonna be using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I know this one's intense and I don't wanna go too intense because the eyes are already very glittery, so I'm using just a tiny bit of this on a Morphe M510 brush. So now that we're done with highlighter, it is time for the lips. Now you can literally go any direction you want with the lips here because this is a really neutral look. Like the glitter is, you can pair it with anything. I'm gonna be going in with a all time fave, the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in Freckle Fiesta. Last up after applying our lip is setting. Now I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because this is the best. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It gives me a lot of feedback. And if you have any other content suggestions, leave them in the comment section as well. I would love to know what your holiday party makeup is. So if you have a specific look you love to do during holiday parties, leave it in the comments as well. I'd love to see you guys doing something cool and creative. And I think we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more everyday life and makeup content on the Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I would love you forever. I already do. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Uh,